Welcome to your daily love message. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to tip it down. You guys can see your cards come out here. All right. Let's see what your message is for today. All right, signs. Your energy being brought in today is the Tower. Your emotional upheaval of some sort. Your person's energy for the connection is the, oops, I dropped that one. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And the outcome, or not the outcome, the energy coming in for the two of you today. What can the two, this couple... You got the page of or the princess of cups and the nine of swords spirits advice the empress is also in the energy spirits advice for this situation it is the wake up call the judgment card and the outcome that is can change due to free will is the Ace of Pentacles and the Prince of Wands. Bottom of deck and shared energy is the Prince of Swords or the Knight of Swords, Prince of Swords, clarified with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so your guys' shared energy. Someone's coming in very quickly to tell the truth. Um, with the Knight of Swords, it's Somebody, you could be defending each other to an outside source, but somebody's coming in with the truth. It could seem almost attacking, um, but they're taking prompt action. They're like nipping the situation in the bud, no longer dealing with, with lies, really. Somebody has been juggling here and... Um, holding back emotionally, not investing enough time into the situation, holding back, having their guard up. Um, and you possibly, if you're the one that is holding back and juggling, um, not wanting things to change, not wanting to put the time and effort needed in to make this connection work, um, whoever that is, is getting a, a swift, uh, slap upside the head of truth <laughs> um yeah somebody's coming in and telling this person whoever this is exactly what they're thinking about their actions so remember the energies can be vice versa but um the tower is coming down in one of your guys's lives um let's go with this Let's see what the tower is all about. Why is the tower here for our fire signs for today? Yeah, the three of swords. That's a lot of heartache. Bottom of the deck is, is the wheel of fortune. So um, this is bringing in change. This uh, could, you could have not seen this coming, but this is, you could be finding out about a third party or um, this is just a lot of heartache. You could be walking away fire sign from somebody and they never thought you would do that. They thought that you would wait for them to open up, wait for them to come towards you is what I'm hearing. Um, if this was a third party, Somebody is walking away from the third party, whether that be you walking away from them, them walking away from you, or the other person walking, getting walked away from, walking away, whatever. But there's only two people in this tower card and three swords. So the tower is eliminating one person out of the equation. 
bringing in a lot of change, um, dealing with karma, dealing with, uh, wow, where did these come from? These flipped in there somewhere too. Uh, change is coming for sure. Somebody's delivering the news they want a divorce. Whether that be you, a fire sign, or somebody you're dealing with, they want a divorce and it's going to break the heart of somebody. Um, they are wanting to find balance. They're wanting to get out of a third party situation and they're following their intuition. They're following their gut feeling that this is what needs to happen. This is what needs to be done. Um, you could have waited too long to make a choice. Fire sign or somebody you're dealing with did this. So now the universe is stepping in and exposing all the secrets, bringing to light what was done in the dark. Um, and somebody didn't like it and they're walking away. So fire sign, if that was you that had a third party, your spouse or significant other is walking away or you're walking away from them because this is a divorce. This is something that breaks your heart, but you have to do what's best for you. Um, if you're waiting on somebody to do that, um, geez, they're just flying out. Could be a earth sign or a water sign, but this person you feel is your soulmate. Yeah, you could be waiting on an earth sign or a water sign to return. Let's see what uh, the other person, why is the Ten of Swords here? And why is the Ten of Cups here? So your person had a choice. Look at that juggling. Your person had a choice between two people fire sign or this could be you but the ten of swords is clarifying the betrayal the heartache the the i can't believe you would do this to me um because of a third party so that other person is finding out about a third party um and and it's making them feel betrayed now their other choice brings them this emotional balance this emotional fulfillment um this this love this happy when when that person and this person are together it's amazing like it's everything they wanted and they see so much new beginnings they see so many opportunities so um so many things that they could accomplish in life that they're passionate about that they have love for so the person has a choice between this person and this person this person is the one getting left this is the one that they were married Whoever that is, put that wherever it fits. With a general reading, you just got to put yourself in the piece of the puzzle where you belong. Um, but there definitely is three people in the situation. And the tower, the tower is being, is, is coming down. The relationship that is not built on solid foundation, the relationship that's on shaky ground, that's coming down. The universe is bringing in an earthquake. Um... And it is breaking the heart of one of the three people. But secrets are being exposed. Things are coming to light about things that were done in the dark. But intuitively, it's moving you in the direction you need to go in. The third party is coming to an end because justice is coming and it will finally find balance where you can find stability with your soulmate. Um, the person that is being left is heartbroken. They're devastated. But the person that that you're walking or that you're walking forward with fire signs or that is walking towards you is an amazing new beginning. This is meant to happen. This is a uh, divine partnership with the Empress judgment and the 10 of cups, Ace of cups, Ace of wands, Ace of pentacles down here in the bottom. So the energy coming in for you, fire signs, you are going to get this offer of love. This is a new beginning. Something that um, had tried to get off the ground in the past and couldn't. Um, because you are coming in telling this truth that I'm not putting up with the third party anymore. I'm no longer putting up with this juggling act and this closed offness. It's causing this chain of events. Bringing down the tower. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> but this love offer is being made to you from this person in the past that was holding back. That was not contributing enough time to the to the situation um and this this new love offer is coming in for you from somebody that you feel is a soulmate of yours 
it's going to bring a whole windfall of change. This is karma being dealt with and the in the wheel moving in a positive direction. Why is the nine of swords here? So this love offer is coming for you, fire signs, or you're about to make this love offer. Yeah, because you've been, or I mean, not because you have been worried and stressed out and let letting your mind play tricks on you, letting your mind get the best of you. Oh my goodness. I just got itchy so bad, but this will subside because there's no longer going to be this delay, no longer going to be worried um, which direction they're going in because they're telling you or you're telling someone else. Um, yeah, this delay, this crossroads, this pause brought you a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, wondering if they were coming back, wondering if, you know, they were going to return or not, but they are, they're going to return and offer you this love. Um, why is the Empress here? Because they are, you are the one that they see a future with. Um, wow. So you are going to be able to create this new beginning, create this life that you have been hoping for. Um, you, you're be, you're going to be able to put the worry aside, um, because your ships are coming in. You are manifesting this connection back into, uh, into your life. This is a divine, um, relationship that is like divinely guided and protected. I'm hearing, but you've been waiting for this person for a long time, three months, three years, any time in between that, um, and this was a third party situation. So more than likely fire sign, you are the third party and they're coming towards you. The tower coming down is not for you, but the person you're waiting for and their other person, because your wishes are about to come true. Your prayers have been heard from the angels and they are coming. Um, they are working in your favor to get you this new beginning, to give you this new opportunity to build and create a life with someone where there's a lot of love and a lot of passion and where the two of you can create something together that you can put your whole heart into um, and build that happy home, happy life that you are wanting. That's all coming in for you with that energy. Uh, spirits. Wow. Spirits advice for you. And that flew right out. Um, change is coming. The trumpets are sounding. People are waking up to the divine guidance that has been tried and tried and tried to wake them up to um, the judgment, the wheel of fortune and the queen of pentacles. You are going to become someone's wife or you are meeting your wife, whatever that is. The queen of pentacles for me is always that a spouse, no matter whether they're earth sign or not. Um, but this is a second opportunity. This is a relationship that didn't get off the ground once, twice, three times, however many times you've tried. But this is a divinely guided relationship. The angels are watching over you. They're bringing you the relationship that you are trying to manifest. They're bringing you back your divine partner. It's time to answer for the deeds that you have done. If you haven't been living life right, well, that's not very good. But for this group of you, you have been because the wheel came in the upright. So you are getting to answer for what you have done in the past. And it is positive. Bringing in this relationship loving and nurturing um, each other. Spirit's advice is to love and nurture yourself, to focus on the future. Um, don't look in the past. Allow things to change. The Wheel of Fortune is all about change as well. And to hear that wake-up call and take action. Um, for some of you, that is your person that is getting that wake-up call to what this relationship has the potential to be and where and how to get to each other. So, Communication is opening up. Why is the Prince of Wands here? This is going to come back to you very quickly. Um, wow. Okay. This is coming back to you um, very quickly. But when they do, they're going to come in right this time. The Queen of Swords is um, that of somebody who's been divorced. It is also that of somebody who has been transformed. It's no longer going to be only sex. It's going to be so much bigger than that. This is also somebody who's been through a lot of shit, but still holds their head up high and rocks at life. So this relationship has been through a lot of shit, but when it comes back together, it's going to be amazing because you've both transformed and you're no longer just in it for sex. You're in it for love. And there's a big difference between just sex and love. 
Um, communication is opening up very quickly to you, fire signs. Could be from an earth sign, another fire sign. Um, we got about every element out here, really. But um, this is coming in fast. Cupid's arrow is about to hit once again, opening the door of opportunity, opening the door to abundance in all areas of your life. This is the biggest gift from the universe to possibly receive. Um, your bottom of the deck energy, your uh, Prince of Swords, the truth is coming in to the two people who are married. The truth is being spoken. It may come in quick. It may feel like a dagger because that knife is sharp and it cuts. But it is severing them out of the marriage. They are going to use that sword of truth to cut themselves out of a situation with somebody that they are married to or in a very long term commitment, like years long. Um, and that's where that tower is as well. So whoever is married, the truth is being spoken and it is ending. It is coming to um, an end right there. Clarifying the two of pentacles is the empress. So we do know there is three people here in this situation. The empress is often called the mistress, but in this case, times of change are coming. The person who is juggling is choosing the mistress. So whoever has is the third party, that's who this person for this situation is who is they're choosing. There's only two pentacles in this card and they are going to put down the long-term relationship and marriage and go forward with the divine feminine um, who started out as the mistress. Four of pentacles with the four of pentacles again. Some major, major um, delay in letting go. There is some sort of hesitancy in letting go of this marriage and it's all due to finances look at that they're not wanting to give up what they have bought and what they have attained materialistically in this world um, however the universe is coming in and bringing in that tower because this couldn't be let go of the the wall is going to come down the guard is coming down and the marriage is ending for this group of you this will not resonate with everybody but if you are a third party who you feel is a twin flame, this most definitely is a divine partnership with this for spirit's advice. Huge. But this is what is coming in for you. So the patience has all been worth it. Um, change is coming most definitely. The other person is accepting this change. And the divine partnership is coming into, um, into fruition. This is coming into... A twin flame union amazing fire signs i hope that resonates with all of you all right let's see what your advice is for today why not okay so your card that just flew out was calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations are helping bring you together clarified with passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and on the other side of the clarifier was to clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now because that is exactly what you're calling in. And when it comes in, you will be singing with so much joy and happiness. But decide what it is that you want because whatever you want, that's what you're calling in right now. And uh, keep up your prayers and affirmations. They are helping bring this divine partnership into fruition. All right, fire signs. I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless. Oh, 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 oh,